Strawberry shortcake is the perfect springtime dessert. It's nothing more than a layer of lightly sweetened fresh strawberries between a cake-like cookie biscuit and fresh whipped cream. Each component is so simple and yet they're so delicious when you put them together. I have two pints of fresh strawberries and now we begin the relatively simple but time-consuming task of removing the stems from each strawberry and I'm going to slice them into thirds or fourths lengthwise. Thirds if it's a small strawberry, fourths if they're a larger strawberry. You want them to be about evenly whipped. So, let's clear a little space here. I have my strawberries. I've sliced them all. They all look pretty good. And now I'm just going to sprinkle over them a uh, half a cup of granulated white sugar. And you know, if your strawberries are really, uh, I'm actually gonna go a little short, let's say a third cup. I didn't put the full half cup in there. If your strawberries are out of season, if they don't taste very sweet to you, you can go a little heavier on the sugar. If it's the peak of the season and the strawberries already have a good content of sugar in their natural state, you could go with very little sugar, just a couple tablespoons. So the sugar is somewhat variable. Now, lemon juice will just sort of wake the strawberry flavor up. And this is a Meyer lemon. You could use any lemon you have on hand. I just happen to have Meyer lemons because my neighbor grows them and, and she has an abundance of them this time of year. So just juice from half a lemon. That was the hard work, all that slicing, but we're done. So the strawberries now, I'm going to just set aside and they will macerate, which just means they're going to continue to exude their juices and soak up that sugar flavor and the lemon flavor. We don't have to do anything. They'll do all the work. I'll just set them out of the way. So while the strawberries are macerating, we're going to make the biscuits. And the biscuits are very basic. This is a very simple biscuit recipe. It's two cups of flour, a half a cup of granulated sugar. I have eight tablespoons of butter, which is just one stick of butter. And I've cut it into these very small cubes. They'll just, that will make it easier to incorporate into the dough. And then I have a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, and one half teaspoon salt. Then to bind it all together, I have three quarters cup of heavy cream. So let's start with the flour. Again, two cups. I just have a medium sized mixing bowl here. And the sugar. Basically going to start by blending all the dry ingredients. And my teaspoon of baking soda, teaspoon of baking powder, and half teaspoon of salt, which I had, of course, pre measured everything. If only I had a whisk. Stand by. Here she is. So before I incorporate the butter or the cream, I want to just fully whisk together the dry ingredients. Now to incorporate the butter, I have cut it into these very small pieces. It's also very cold and that's really important. In fact, all of your ingredients should be cold. So for now, I am just pushing the pastry cutter into the butter and cutting it into the flour. And I'm turning the bowl as I do this just to make sure I don't miss any of the butter. So turning with my left hand and pushing with my right hand. So now to, again to bind this all together it's three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. And once again I don't have a spatula. Hang tight. Very poor. Oh, look who's here. Kitty, get down. No. Pardon me and this nasty little kitty. Go. Go. Get down. Go. She just was so curious about what we were doing. She never, ever jumps on the counter. This is so embarrassing. Kitty, I can't touch you because my hands are clean. Go. <laughs> you are so bad. Okay, you sit right there. So now I have my rolling pin. This is just a solid wood rolling pin. I love this one. This was given to me by my aunt. It rolls really smooth and I'm going to just roll the dough and just sprinkle it with a little flour 
if you feel like it's sticking, not too much, just enough to keep the rolling pin moving smoothly across the top. And you want to roll this dough out to about, I don't know, about a half an inch, sort of eyeball it. And I don't have a cookie cutter. I think it's packed away. I can't find it. So you can use a cup. This is just a regular drinking cup. And I'm just going to dip it into this plate of flour. And I might even use my fingers to spread some flour around the edge. And I am going to just cut out my biscuits. The biscuits are just about two inches apart. They're not going to spread, they're going to rise. So you could actually pack them even a little closer. And they're going to go into the oven for just about 10 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on them. You know, each oven is a little different. 375 degrees in your oven might actually be a little hotter than 375 degrees in my oven. That's just the nature of modern appliances. So I never just trust the recipe. I always crack that door open or turn on the light uh, often to make sure that I'm not overdoing it. And these biscuits are best when they're just turning golden brown on the top. So you want to just keep your eye out for that moment of golden perfectness and pull them out as soon as you, you see that golden color. So I'll pop them in the oven and we'll keep an eye on them. Okay, the biscuits came out beautifully. So they just got really golden on top, a little crispy on the bottom. I was really careful not to let them get overdone. They're perfect. And they've been out of the oven for about 15 minutes. You do want to make sure that they cool completely before you assemble these fabulous little strawberry shortcakes. And assembly is pretty straightforward. I'm going to take each biscuit and with a serrated knife, oh, I can just tell by cutting into these, the texture is fantastic. They've got a really crispy outside and they're really cakey and doughy on the inside. Beautiful. So I just split it in half horizontally. I'm going to put the bottom on the bottom and then I'll use a, a large spoon here. Now the strawberries were macerating while we were doing all of the other work. So by now we've got this really nice syrup that's formed. It's a mixture of the strawberry juices and the sugar and just a touch of lemon juice, which just brings it alive a little bit. So with a large spoon, I'm just going to spoon some of these strawberries right over this bottom biscuit. And you can be kind of messy about this. This is a really casual dessert. So just pile those strawberries on there. And then I made some whipped cream. I just did this in a stand mixer. You could also do it with a hand mixer. It was a cup of cold whipped cream, about a quarter cup of granulated sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. That's it. So much better than the whipped cream you get out of a can. So then I'm just going to spoon my whipped cream right over those strawberries. And actually before we put this top on, I'm going to dig down to the bottom of this bowl with my spoon and get some of the syrup and put it right over the top. Oh, looks so good. And then the final piece is the top biscuit. So it's so beautiful, I almost don't want to taste it, and yet I can't resist because I can smell the sweet dough of the biscuit and the strawberries. It's really intoxicating, so I'm going to just dig in. You have to make sure that at every bite you get a little bit of the biscuit, a good piece of strawberry and the whipped cream because you have to have them all together to get the full effect. Mmm! Fantastic. There's nothing like strawberry shortcake to welcome warmer weather. Pretty simple to make. Again, you can make these biscuits ahead of time. The whipped cream you want to make at the last minute. The strawberries should be fresh and in season. Get them locally if you can. They taste so much better. They're really sweet, really fresh. One of my favorite desserts.